From DIY projects to castles and coasters, here are the 10 best games to play if you just love building. Crafting is still a big thing in game worlds. From RPGs to FPSs, many games contain an element of crafting thanks to the still present influence of Minecraft. We've even covered it before with the 10 best games like Mojang's Classic, which you can watch by hitting the link on screen now. But we also like to dream a little bigger. So if you, like us, crave more than just mud huts and weapon upgrades, you'll probably want to try one of these. Here then are the 10 best games to play if you just love building. <laughs> Lots of building games require you to go hunting for materials first, but Bridge Constructor lets you get stuck into the art and science of making things straight away. It's a simple puzzle game where your job is to help vehicles get across various gaps within a set budget. Place wood, steel, concrete or wires in the most efficient way possible to help cars or trucks traverse those gaps. Building takes just a few clicks of the mouse to place each piece. And while things start off simple as usual, things can quickly go wrong. Especially if, like us, you accidentally forget that steel is heavy enough to pull things down. Oops. The simplicity of the building mechanics makes Bridge Constructor instantly gratifying, and there's a weird beauty to creating a safe river crossing. Perfect if you want a quick, creative fix. A spin-off to the old-school JRPG series, Dragon Quest Builders 2 has you concocting room recipes rather than saving the world through more traditional swordsmanship, although you'll get to do a bit of that too. Blending a compelling storyline with construction, Dragon Quest Builders gives your construction purpose. You create simple bedrooms and kitchens to help people survive at first, but soon you'll be building bars and swimming pools. It's blocky like Minecraft, but far prettier. And thanks to actual furnishing items like benches and baths, it's easy to make something that actually looks good for both you and your citizens to enjoy. You even get your own island to shape, be that by following a checklist of goals or by going completely off-piste and creating private villas or model cities. It's also easy to jump into other people's creations for inspiration, or just to give your own creative self-esteem a good kicking as you marvel at their seemingly effortless handiwork. Theme parks are the places where dreams are made, but what are we meant to do when we can't just jump on a flight? Might we suggest making your very own? Planet Coaster lets you live out this fantasy to an incredibly detailed degree, letting you not just exercise your desire to watch people scream on metal constructions of your own creation, but also place paths, plants and scenery to complement your thrill rides. There is a career mode, but sandbox is where it's at, letting you go wild with an unlimited budget so there's no need to worry about paying security when handbags keep getting stolen. And why settle for a pre-made roller coaster when you can design your own? You can even create your own surrounding buildings and shape the landscape for gold star imagineering status. Or just go on to the steam workshop and browse other people's structures if you hit a creative plateau. And if you want something a little fuzzier, head into Planet Zoo for the ultimate conservation building experience. And hopefully less screams. <laughs> While most people play The Sims to see what a fictional version of themselves would do if they lived in a house with various friends or celebrities, or in my case, a creative torture zone for annoying colleagues, sorry, not sorry, Matt, it's also perfect as a dream house creator, because who needs to own their own house in real life? Not our generation, apparently. Anyway, be it mansion or tiny house, there's something satisfying about creating your dream living space. And The Sims 4's building tools are flexible enough to recreate any of your home building desires. You can shape walls, roofs and gardens to create the perfect structure full of cute box windows and trendy balconies. If you want a veranda to relax on or perhaps a luxury infinity pool to dip into without needing any of the planning permission then this is where you can fulfill that fantasy. Just make sure you remember the ladders. 
Tricky Towers is a multifaceted building game. I mean, it's partly about creating your own lofty Tetris-like structure, but it's also about destroying other people's builds and dreams and laughing maliciously as their carefully wrought creations tumble to ruin. The competitive element adds a whole new layer to the game, as you balance speed against strength in race mode or find increasingly inventive ways to cram in enough blocks in puzzle trials. And the simple magic spells always give you a choice. Are you the sort of person who attacks relentlessly, or are you more about careful construction and shoring up your builds? It might look deceptively simple, especially when compared to the staggering builds on display in other games on this list, but just try it. I promise you'll end up losing hours to Tricky Towers, to the point that all you can see when you close your eyes is yet more tumbling blocks. There's a reason they call it the Tetris Effect. I've got my eyes closed now and I can still see blocks. Wait, no, I'm uh, watching the video. As you were. Just because this is a list about building games, it doesn't mean it has to be exclusively about, well, buildings. Vehicles need willed into existence too. And Besiege is great for crazy experimentation. If you've ever wondered what would happen if you stuck a castle on wheels or placed a cannon on a car, then this is the game for you. With in-depth tools to tinker with, getting your vehicle to actually move can seem an impossible task at first. But once you get the hang of the basics, you can build some magnificent machines to pummel adorably angry soldiers with. And, much like a toddler toppling a tower built from wooden blocks, destruction can be just as fun as creation. Finding inventive ways to squash things or figuring out how long it will take for your latest invention to explode is as much part of the game as building is. All good things must come to a fiery end. No list of building games would be complete without the giant that kicked off the genre boom in the first place. Minecraft is still king when it comes to all things constructive, largely because it provides the perfect blank slate. Biomes give you just enough of a setting to spark your imagination without set objectives to restrict your vision. And if you're not feeling particularly up to fending off foes, creative mode frees you of your need to gather materials and chase off creepers, and just lets you concentrate on the work at hand. It's easy to enter a zen-like trance as you place each brick of your next masterpiece, and for a quick go for old time's sake, to turn into a month-long campaign to make the perfect medieval settlement. Oh, just one more block. Sure, we gave a quick nod to the furry friends of Planet Zoo, but it turns out that everything is more fun with dinosaurs. So it's time to take a trip to Jurassic World Evolution. It's not quite as granular as some of the other games on this list, but being able to build your own dino park is a dream come true for anyone who watched Jurassic Park as a kid. Just because a dinosaur can rip you in two doesn't mean you can neglect its welfare. Crafting the perfect enclosures for your toothy attractions through landscaping feels a little like buying toys for a hamster cage. Except the risk of escape has deadlier consequences. Much like other tycoon games, you can also build pathways, fast food joints and lunchbox and cuddly toy shops to create the perfect park. Although you might want to remember to build some bunkers just in case. Yeah, they're probably going to want their money back. <laughs> Just imagine a Minecraft-like MMO with self-built player housing that can follow you from map to map. And you've got Trove, a surprisingly creative multiplayer building game. On the surface, it's a fairly simple action-based MMO. You go to different areas to kill things and get materials. But it's also amazing for both small and large-scale construction as well as having your own cornerstone to shape as you wish and relocate on command, you can also join clubs that have their own worlds to free build in. Even if you don't like sharing your builds with others, you can still show off what you can do with your tiny cornerstone plot. Oh, and you get extra bragging rights if you warp it right in front of other players. And finally, building just can't always be glamorous. 
House Flipper does an excellent job of showcasing all the odd jobs you'll need to do if you were really constructing your own house. You don't need to install all of the radiators or sinks by hand in a Planet Coaster bathroom, but if you want to stay warm in your own place and be a real builder, you'll need to learn. You start in your very own messy little shack, doing odd jobs for others, such as painting and remodelling, to build up some revenue to buy a better place while slowly turning your hovel into a haven. Although it's important to note that you can't take on any of the bigger renovation tasks until you learn to wheel the broom and clean people's bizarrely messy houses. And yet, it's weirdly satisfying mopping up the filth caked on the ceiling and chucking out garbage. Plus, it makes us feel a whole lot better about the state of our own homes. And down tools. Phew, that was 10 of the very best building games to play on PC. We've built bridges, castles, and even installed a few toilets to bring you this list. So make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let us know your building favourites in the comments below, and please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.